right guys and welcome back to the channel so today that's right we are setting up the x series reef bright kit here and pretty much i've already unboxed it this is pretty much what you guys are going to get in your box um from my understanding it is only specific to brs at this moment here i'm pretty certain that you know sales are good everybody else is going to have some but for right now it looks like you can only pick them up at uh at brs currently um but all in all what does it look like you get in the box uh, i haven't opened up everything yet but i'm pretty certain this is all hardware it sounds like screws and connections and things like that whatever the case may be so pretty much just maybe just mounting screws um, here are some brackets and we have the additional brackets here that are going to hold all of your other lighting um, options that are out there so from my understanding i guess this is made primarily to uh, be a universal kit for the Kessel guys, the Hydras, their Radions. Um, it is, in essence, a universal mounting kit. Um, after feeling this right now, uh, it is a pretty thin piece of metal, so if you guys have a light out there that this kit does not fit, I'm pretty certain that you can probably uh, get away with tapping or drilling out some more holes for uh, those particular mounting options. Um, and get it to work or you know see if we can sh shoot the guys over at uh, reef bride an email that is their email address there uh, pretty much uh, certain that tulio and the team over there can go ahead and probably get something under production so with that being said obviously this is the box for the power adapter um, and that looks like it's it let me see here let's see if i can do this one-handed hang on second let's put this down take a look at this because I think these are just the end caps yeah these are just the end caps here they go on the end of each one without knocking the camera over but what I do like uh, about this is it's a pretty simple straightforward uh, looks like an installation um, and setup the only problem is me mounting it with my light rack that I have up there so We'll figure out a way to do that. I don't know. You got the mounting brackets for the end caps to give your <coughs> lights a good look. And we have the mounting arms here. Let's see if I can pop one out. Now, most of you are probably wondering where am I going to put this. This is actually going to go over the, uh, the 180 behind me here. And we're going to take off the Orfix. So let me get this into the light. Yeah. Now, it doesn't, it, it's, it feels solid, but I mean, obviously it is metal, but it is really light. So I'm assuming that they more than likely just use aluminum, um, which, yeah, will cut down on the weight of the light itself on any of your mounting racks. And let's see, we'll go to go ahead and crack open the power supply but honestly the reason I'm getting rid of the Orfix um, you know I, I've always wanted reef bites for a while and I do have the K series set up on on the cube tank over there and everything seems to be doing doing pretty well with it nothing seems to be going crazy over there and just happy with with the outcome of it as you can see it looks like it's plastic everywhere this is a 24 volt 120 watt adapter it's like a nice universal adapter 24 volts 5 amps Let's see if we get some light on that there we go and a lot of little pieces of paper to go ahead and keep it from bouncing around so no fancy stuffing there and we're going to go ahead and throw this box to the side move on to the next one here which is sounds like a bag of, bag of screws we'll cut this tape off and see what we got and yep so you do get the hanging cable nice hanging kit so you can mount it uh, as a light rack 
and then add on your your kessels to it um, or any of your other uh, lighting that you have um, I do have a custom lighting rack that I use that I'm able to go ahead and modify a bit here and we have some screws a lot, a lot of screws for all the different looks like all the different mounting options uh, they have some little instructions on the inside pretty certain once I get this open it'll tell me which screws go for what device and things like that or what application and such but that's it I mean that's really what's in the bag here that's what's in the box you do get a dimmer with this so you guys do get a, a little dimmer so just in case if you want to run this on a timer and set it to come on um, at a dimmer setting than normal that's fine that works I'm actually going to go ahead and run this thing at a hundred percent and just modify my main lights to get the right amount of par that I'm looking for and all in all I mean there's a bit of a mess up here right now but once we clean it up a lot of these parts are not going to be used on this installation but we will get these lights up and I'll show you guys how that looks all right All right, so I got the installation done. Here's some of the parts that are left over. Um, I got one set of the universal brackets, um, the actual end cap brackets that are used for the, the hanging kit here. Um, I use none of the screws, because like I said, the particular mounting rack that I have, I was able to modify that and get it up there with. Um, here is the Orphic. I've taken that off, knocked over something just now. There goes flowers. And so first it's on and it is uh, noticeably brighter. Uh, obviously it's reef brights and they are going to just give light off where they should. So sorry for you guys' eyes. Um, we'll see if we can cut the exposure down here a bit hang on let's see there we go we'll cut the exposure down just a bit that way you guys can see the lights and they look good they look good where I have them here I was able to get the uh, mounting <coughs> hardware that I have up here is set properly and we are good so let me see if I can get it up here without falling over and there we go all right there goes the bracket that I used I actually just mounted it to one of the XR 15s on either side on the inside I did mount it over here just to kind of give it a nice uh, a cleaner look for me as far as aesthetics go um, it was literally right at the edge of this and it's not like secure so it will slide out <coughs> if somebody gives it a nice push um, so I decided to come and mount it to the inside of here I didn't use both of the brackets just in case um, I needed to use them for something else in the future and also to just aesthetic wise for me the bracket doesn't stick out as much when there's one but two for me I would see them both hanging there so here's both sides right now I didn't put anything in the middle um, this does support itself fairly well with <clears throat> the amount of brackets that I have here and if you guys see I did tuck the wires uh, for my cables underneath one of the brackets here so this is really a, a universal mounting kit um, I will give them that like any eye lights that you have you should be able to mount them with this kit um, you can actually utilize the end caps to mount to any existing wiring that you have or cabling um, you can actually here let's do this all right so here's what I'm talking about as far as 
uh, just different mounting options. Let me see if I can brighten this up a bit. There we go. So right now I kind of have this hooked into the Orphic. Uh, I got a friend who has another Orphic. Uh, actually a guy who he has my OR3 uh, OR2 Blues. So who knows. I may tell him about these brackets here and see if he can mount something or make something out of it to happen. But I kind of... Sorry to anybody who has Orphix or Reef Bites and they're all like, oh, that's blasphemy, what are you doing? It works. I don't know about longevity and it holding up there, but as you can kind of see, it is in there. What I did was I hooked it into the grooves at the top channel, just to let you know. Now, if I can get this from out of here. So here's how the brackets are set up. Now the radions are on these two holes. Then you have your Kessels, which would mount to these two holes. Um, and then you have the center piece here that you could use for uh, any other mounting, really. Eh? If you were to just go ahead and get, a, get one of your mounting, um, your hanging kits. You know, get the hanging kit, you can wire it, run the wire through this center point, you can do that. You have your, your Hydras, your your AIs, even I think uh, if you get the, the angled mounting piece for the primes, you could mount primes on this also. Uh, if they sold this separately, I, I'm pretty certain a lot of people would be able to, you know, uh, modify it so that way they could use it with their lighting and use the reef brights also with it without any issues and have a nice, you know, mounting kit. You could, you know, pretty much take the, the reef brights, um, drill some holes into a canopy, mount it up in the canopy, and there you go. You got that also too. So uh, for me, as far as, you know, flexibility and, and use in different applications, uh, this piece here was was designed fairly well for that. So one last shot of the tank and I will let you guys go. But then, like, like I said, and I didn't use the, uh, the dimmer. That's one thing I, I left off there. I, I didn't want to dim it. Um, I'll probably grab some par numbers at some point just to let you guys know what the par is. Um, pretty certain it's gonna be right where it should be for the tank. And like I said, here's the ghost, man. These, <laughs> these lights are bright. There we go, bring this down just a bit. The extra blue that I'm getting out of it is, is, is good. It's not a, uh, an overwash or anything like that. But if you guys have been around long enough and you've seen a lot of the Reef Bright um, videos and just photos that, that folks have taken with them, they speak for themselves. But I will tell you, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update in a few months after they've been on here, done their thing. You know, I, I want to give the lights an opportunity to show me what they can do, especially on this tank. Because um, I do have them here. And this is the K-series uh, mounting bracket that they offered at first for the Radions. And there we go. That's in focus. Yeah, so here's the K-series. And that mounts the two radion or the two reef brights in a way that I can you know angle them uh, in the tank or however I want to position them now you can do the same thing with the X series that they did release um, you just have to it, it depends on how you mounted it so if you use the brackets like I did here these brackets there's no there's no bending it it does put it at a little bit of an angle, but you're not going to get like, oh, I want to angle this, you know, 30 degrees this way. So <clears throat> we'll see. I'll give you guys an update on it here in a couple months, see how, see how things are going with it. 
But other than that, initial impressions on everything, I give it a thumbs up and we'll we'll go from there. So until next time, I will talk with you guys later. Peace.